Hi, we're here today at the Southern California Railway Museum, which is in Paris, California. And there is so much Disney history that takes place here inside the museum. But starting before you even make your way into the museum, we have these ticket booths here. These are actually Disneyland official ticket booths. They were at Disneyland from the 1980s until California Adventure opened. And then they were moved here once they were moved out of Disneyland. So this is our first piece of history. We're gonna go take a look and then I'll have you follow me inside. And there's a ton more Disney history inside the museum. So let's check it out. And if you're not already, make sure to like and subscribe and follow us here at Adventure Isle. This is absolutely incredible. If you're a huge Disney nerd like I am, you know that at California Adventure, they have the red car trolleys and they're modeled after these exact series of red car trolleys. This is actually exactly the same as the front of one of the ones at California Adventure, down to the wording which says Hollywood. So I think that's awesome. That's actually was my Halloween costume this year. I'm obsessed with the red car trolleys. And not only can you see how cool they are here, but you can actually go inside of the original ones and check it out. This trolley is so incredible, but one of the things I love the most is these really old advertisements that are still up in this trolley that's on display. This is just so cool. There are lots of red car trains that are on display here at the museum, but this is the one that's an actual official trolley, just like the ones out of California Adventure, and I think that is just so cool. This is the Ward Kimball train. If you don't know who Ward Kimball is, he's actually famously one of Disney's nine old men. And he worked as an animator for Disney. He animated Tweedledee and Tweedledum, Mad Hatter, Jiminy Cricket. And he had this train in his backyard in the San Gabriel Valley. And I mean the whole train. He had the engine and the coal car and car number five, which you'll see back there. Car number five was first bought by his wife as an anniversary present for him. And then he added the rest. And so these used to run in his backyard. And even though his backyard was only like 500 feet wide, they would just run it to the end of his driveway and then run it back and Walt Disney actually drove this train at one point so come and take a look see the whole train that used to be in Ward Kimball's backyard think about how massive this train must have been in a home's backyard it literally could only run from the backyard to the end of the driveway and then back again and this train is called the Emma Nevada. That actually was not its original name, but this is an 1881 locomotive. So Ward Kimball decided to name it Emma Nevada after a famous 1881 opera singer. We learned so many different facts from the people who are working this exhibit, and one of the most interesting one was that Walt Disney actually tried to buy this exact train. This train probably looks familiar to you because it looks just like the train at Disneyland, but Walt Disney wanted to buy this train because when he first had Disneyland, he didn't have a lot of money to open Disneyland, and he was having a hard time getting investors. So he asked Ward Kimball if he could have this train for Disneyland. Ward obviously declined. But these Ward Kimball trains from the 1930s were a big inspiration to Walt Disney and to the Disneyland Railroad that you know and love today. And originally when Betty bought this train car for her husband, she didn't intend it to be a full locomotive in her backyard. She actually bought him the train car thinking he might use it as a vessel to display his model trains, but he instead decided he wanted a full locomotive and a full train and that's what ended up happening. So this is Chloe. She was actually a second train that was in Ward Kimball's backyard. 
and he, she's named after his daughter. She was from brought in from Hawaii. He purchased her for $50 and she was brought over because they had a bunch of surplus of trains after the war. So this is a train that he acquired and brought over to his home in San Gabriel. And so at one point he had this train and he had the number five and Emma Nevada train in his backyard. So a lot of trains in his backyard. So let's take a look at this one because it's really cool also. And this Chloe train should look very familiar to you because Walt Disney took inspiration directly from this train for the style that he used on the Disneyland Railroad, the Santa Fe Railroad. So you can see here, especially in the very back of the train with this yellow bench seating and the coal car style, that the trains from Disneyland really look very similar to these trains thanks to Walt's relationship with Ward Kimball. And one last fun fact here for you guys while we take a look at this train. The Disneyland Railroad is actually called the Santa Fe Railroad because it was sponsored by Santa Fe Railroad Company when Disneyland first opened. In the beginning, Disneyland did not have a lot of investors. A lot of people didn't believe in Disney, so Disney had to take on sponsors in order to get money for the parks, and one of those sponsors was Santa Fe. A railroad company. So that's where the name for the Santa Fe Railroad came from and also where things like Dole Whip and Coke Corner came from. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the history as much as we enjoyed sharing it and make sure to like and subscribe through to our channel at Adventure Isle.